Hi there. How are you today? Yep. Yep. My name is Lauren. It's nice to meet you. What's your name? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have a seat right here. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna help you. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Is there any particular reason that you've come to see me today? Is there anything that you're concerned about in particular that you want me to take a look at? Mm-hmm. Just, uh, general overlook? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. Alright, well, if there is any areas of concern that you recall during our exam while I'm over, going over anything, please feel free to speak up. Um, it's very important to me that you use your voice and you feel comfortable say, speaking up for yourself whenever you may need. Um, I feel like you know your body better than anybody, and I don't want you to be afraid or worried about advocating for yourself. It's my job to be of service to you, so I want to be as much help as possible rather than a hindrance when it comes to your health, okay? Yes, I care about your health a lot, and I trust you. Before we begin the face exam, I want to go over everything with you and just give you a general synopsis of everything that we'll be doing, just so you kind of understand what it is that we'll be doing, as well as making sure that you are comfortable with all of the steps of the process. Does that sound good with you? Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Awesome. Um, but before we do start, I want to brush up on a few details here in our system. I'll just ask you a few questions about your medical history and things like that. Uh, it seems like it hasn't been updated in quite a while. I took a peek at it before I came to see you. Yeah, it hasn't been updated in quite a few years, so I want to get that updated. Is that okay with you? Yeah, it's just so that I have the most up-to-date information and, you know, if anything arises, I can look back on that. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to verify a few things with you. Um, can you tell me what your name and date of birth is? Is that with an I? And can you spell your last name for me? Okay. And your date of birth? Okay. And how tall are you? And what was your gender assigned at birth? Okay. And have you had any injections done to your face or mouth? Like any lip fillers, Botox, etc.? Have you ever had any major surgeries done to your face? Any minor surgeries? Okay. Um, have you ever had any major facial-related injuries? Um, like a broken nose, any major open wounds, things of that nature. Hmm. Okay. Have you ever broken any teeth? Okay. And when was the last time that you had your face examined by a doctor? Like your face specifically. Yeah, you don't have to give me like an exact date, just like a general idea. Okay. okay. And what did you talk about at that appointment? Was there any um, specific concerns that were addressed during that appointment? Or was it just a routine exam? Um, have you ever struggled with very uh, major acne, anything like that, more than just a normal teenager might? Mm -hmm. And how long did that persist for, approximately? Do you wash your face? Okay. 
Do you wash it with just plain water? Do you use a cleanser? Any soaps? Do you remember the name of that cleanser? Hmm, okay. I highly recommend Cetaphil cleanser. CeraVe is a really nice replacement too, but I really prioritize Cetaphil for my patients. Yeah, Cetaphil works wonders. Okay. What skin type do you have? Would you say that you have so oily, dry, combination skin? Yeah, that's very, very common. I also have combination skin. Um, how often do you moisturize your face? Is that the same in the winter time? Do you moisturize more often in the winter time? Okay. And how often do you say then? Okay. And what brand of moisturizer do you use? Perfect. Yeah, that one is a good one. Um, I also recommend the Cetaphil. <laughs> um, we don't have any correlation with Cetaphil. I just personally find that it works the best. I've seen such an improvement among so many of my clients when they start using Cetaphil from other more harmful cleansers and moisturizers. Uh, not all cleansers and moisturizers are created equal. It is important to find one that suits your skin type. Cetaphil is very, very, very impressive for me. Okay, and just one more question. Uh, do you wear makeup or other cosmetic products on your face often? Okay, and uh, how often would you say you wear them? And for how many hours a day? Okay. And use your cleanser after that when you take it off and do you make sure to moisturize after cleansing that's a key right there okay perfect good job <laughs> you'd be surprised how many people don't but i'm really glad to hear that you do it's very important to treat your skin with lots of love and kindness yeah if you love your skin your skin will love you right back Okay, that is perfect. Thank you so much for giving me all of those answers. Um, getting a little bit more detail and background history on your skin and health with these questions helps paint a better picture of your skin overall for me. So if at any point during the exam I notice anything concerning or anything at all, I have a lot more information to make an educated guess based on these answers here. I can refer to these first. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it really helps me. The more help I can be to you as your provider, I feel like it makes for a better experience overall, and I find that so important for our personal health to have a good relationship with our provider and to trust them. So that is something I care about so much with you, and I really hope that you can trust me after this process. Hmm. Okay, so now I want to go over the exam with you. Just go down all the steps that we'll be doing. And I just want to make sure that you're comfortable with everything that we'll be doing first. And it helps you get a better idea of what we'll be doing so everything makes a little bit more sense to you and it's not kind of like catching you off guard, you know? Does that work for you? Okay, perfect. Okay, so first I'm going to use my light here. And I'm just going to be looking over your face, um, doing a kind of general overview of some different features of your face, looking for any um, physical abnormalities that I can see just with my eyes. Um, I'll also be judging the symmetry of your face, which I'll actually be looking more into in a further step. But I'm just going to be doing like an overall view. Uh, you can close your eyes for this first part. If you prefer, you don't have to, but sometimes some patients find it more comfortable to close their eyes so they're not getting the light shine right in their eyes. Yeah, it's totally up to you, whatever you prefer. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. After that, I am going to take a few measurements of your face. Um, I'm going to be measuring a few different areas of your face, and I will be writing those results down. That's where I'll be judging the symmetry a little bit further, which is something I don't want you to worry about, because most people, in fact, are not symmetrical. Uh, so don't be worried about whether or not you're symmetrical. It's totally okay if you're not. Uh, I just want to take some measurements, though. I think mean, that's really important. Yeah, is that okay with you? Okay, perfect. Okay, after that part, we will be doing a um, gloved touching of your face. Will you be comfortable with me touching your face? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll be putting this glove on, and I'll just be lightly palpating or tapping your face, um, feeling the structures of your skull and jaw, things like that. Um, I will also be feeling for any abnormal lumps, bumps, things of that nature. I might also feel into your scalp a little bit. Does that sound okay with you? Okay. Perfect. And uh, once we are done with that, I will be having you practice a couple different facial movements. While still gloved, I will hold your face, have you do a couple movements with your mouth and with your eyes just to test your facial movement abilities. It's actually a little bit familiar to if you've had a cranial nerve exam recently. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I'll be having you smile, frown, close your eyes, things like that, making sure all of those facial movements are normal and what they should be. Yeah, yeah, you're familiar with that. Okay, perfect. So, that should be okay with you, right? Okay, that's very good. Good, I'm glad. So, once that is all done, all of those steps are done, I'll be going over the results with you here today, uh, just to let you know if there's any issues at all. I don't expect there to be, but if there is, I will let you know and we'll sit down together and discuss it. If not, I'll let you know that your results are normal. We'll go over what that means, and then we'll get you scheduled for a follow-up appointment, whatever we deem is necessary, determined by your results. Yes, exactly. If your results come back abnormal for any reason, we will have you follow up a little bit sooner to keep an eye on whatever that may be that is abnormal. But if your results do come back normal, we will probably schedule you out about six months. We can do that sooner if you prefer to be having a checkup more often. Also, if your insurance does not allow for um, twice a year checkups, I totally understand if you don't want to do a six month follow up and you do want to push that off a little bit further for insurance purposes. That totally makes sense to me. You know. Yeah, okay. Well, so, are you ready to start? Okay, perfect. Awesome. That's great. Me too. Okay, so if you're ready to begin, I'm going to start with the light portion, where I just look over your face. Okay, would you prefer to keep your eyes open or closed? Okay, that's totally fine. And are you okay with me getting up a little bit closer here to get a good look at your face? Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, so we begin. And just relax. It's nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just doing a natural overview of the face. Mm -hmm. There's not really anything I'm specifically looking for. Just a few areas that I Thank you. 
like when it's rainy outside. Hmm. What's your favorite rainy day movie? Mine is Harry Potter. I know a lot of people like Twilight. Do you like Twilight? On a rainy day? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're doing really done here, just a couple things. Okay. Okay, that looks really good. Um, I did not see anything of concern. Uh, everything looked very normal, so I'm going to move on now to the parts of measuring your face. So I'm just going to grab my tape measure and a notepad. Okay, so I'm going to begin by measuring the distance between your eyes here. So if you could just hold still for me. Okay, write that down. Um, okay, that was... Okay, now for the width of your right eye. This is gonna be so distant. <laughs> okay. So this is about what I would expect. Okay. Now for your other eye. Yep, you're doing great. Just hold still. Okay. Now I'm just going to measure the width of your nose at the base. And thank you. Yes. Okay. That's about. Now for the length of your nose, I'm going to measure from between your eyes to the tip of the nose lengthwise here. You can hold still for me. I'm gonna go for the dimensions of your ears over here. So I'm gonna first take the width of this ear here. So I'm going to take the length of the ear from here to here, starting with this side. Okay, and I'm gonna take the dimensions of your mouth. First, I'm gonna go from corner to corner. Just 
just relax your lips for me. Thank you. here on this side to the start of this here on this side and get the width of your face. Let me just curve this around your face. Okay. Perfect. Width of the face. Thank you. And then now for the same thing from the beginning of your hairline to the tip of your chin. need to divide that by 3.14 to get the diameter of their head, which will be 8.37. Okay, yeah. So, or bumps that you've noticed on your face recently in the past three months. Sometimes if anything occurs, it can be like a cyst and they tend to go away on their own after a little while, but if you ever get one that doesn't go away after a few weeks, please be sure to let us know. Okay. So, are you okay with me touching your face still? I'm just gonna start patting down the sides of your face here. Okay, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you feel uncomfortable at any time, please do not be afraid to let me know. Okay, just rubbing in a little bit more on your hairline. same thing. I'm just gonna press it and then rub it. Press it and then rub it. Okay, now going down to this side. Press it and then rub it. Okay, I'm just gonna tap your chin. Mm-hmm. Okay, now 
going up this side of the forehead. Okay, you did perfect there. That was really good. You can open your eyes now. Okay. I'm actually going to have you close your eyes again. And I'm going to try and open your eye. And I want you to keep it closed. Okay. I'm going to try and open it. Keep it closed. Keep it closed. Keep it closed. Good. Okay, now the other eye. Did really good. Good job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that one was probably close, but you did a really good job with it. Okay, so now I'm going to have you follow my light real quick. Are you okay with the light? Okay. So, will you please follow the light for me? Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay, now just look at my nose while I shine the light. Here, I'm just gonna test the reactivity of your iris. Okay. Rub your pupil. You're doing a really good job. Oh. 
awesome. So I think that wraps up that last part of it. So let's just go over your results together real quick, okay? Yeah, so everything looked really normal with your results. Across the board, everything looked as they should. Near perfect. Yeah. Was there anything that you wanted us to touch on before we finished up? Was there anything that came to mind during the exam that we wanted to address before we leave? Hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to finish up here um, filling in some information about our exam. Uh, you're welcome to leave. You can use this door over here. You're just going to go down the hall. Yep, the way you came in down the hallway, and you're going to make a right, and then on your right, you will see the checkout desk, and there's a beautiful woman named Sasha who will be very excited to help you. Yeah, and she'll get you scheduled for that follow-up. Because there was nothing of too much concern, I do suggest a six-month follow-up. But I did mention before that if there's any issues with insurance where you need to stretch that out a little bit longer, you're looking great. I'm not too concerned about it. I don't want you to feel bad. Sometimes we're limited by our insurances, and I totally get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sasha will be able to walk you through all of that. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Okay, let me fill in some things on your chart, and I hope you have a great day, okay?